Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impression wear test on the new Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. I got two colors during the Sephora sale and I wanted to test them out. With that said, there's one color that I know I'm going to probably go and exchange because it turned out to not be what I thought it would be. So I'm still going to swatch it on my lips just so you can see what it looks like and on my hand. I'm planning on exchanging it. It was the color uh, Trivial and I want to get the color Backstage. Originally, it's the color I wanted, but they didn't have it in stock. And then I decided, you know what, this color looks pretty. And then when I opened it, I realized that there was this glitter in it. And it's funny because I looked just at the packaging quickly in store and it said uh, Comfort Matte. And then online, even then, it placed in the section of the matte lipsticks and not the like metallic shimmery ones. So I'm really confused. But I really, really like the... Um, brush by the way I think it's a really nice one and like I said this one was the color trivial it's really stunning but I thought it was going to be matte and there's actually some like shimmer in it and I don't know it's not a bad color it's just that I wanted the other one so I should have not even tried to purchase another one but you know what it is you're like sad that the other one that you wanted isn't there so you get something else and then was it necessary no so yeah I'm gonna zoom you in and swatch this one this is what the color looks like. It's pretty, it's just, it wasn't exactly what I thought it would be. I thought it would actually be a little bit more nude. If it had been a little bit paler, I would have still kept it, even if with the glitter, which I don't mind glitter per se, by the way. It's just like, it's a bit too reddish for my skin tone. I feel like it's more of a fall color and we're going towards summer, so me. Okay, let's maybe swatch it. It's actually a lot paler on my lips. Maybe it's just the lighting. Let me try this. I really like the applicator, by the way. I feel like that shape is not used often, but I really like it. It's like almost like half a triangle. Triangle shape, not half a triangle, half a, like a rectangle, but yeah. I mean, I like it, but I think I just wanted to get backstage, let's be real. So this one is the color Trivial, which is a comfort matte, but it's not matte. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was the color Trivial. It seems to be uh, drying really quickly, by the way. You can see on my hand it's almost dry already, which sometimes liquid lipstick take a while to dry. Now we're gonna try the second one, which is the one that I'm gonna be wearing all day, and I'm really excited to wear this color. It's another comfort matte, but this one is actually matte. Wow, it dried really quickly. I'm having trouble removing it. I mean, that's a big plus. It's like fairly thin on the lips too. Doesn't seem to be too drying. Again, I'll test that out in a second. I'm gonna need makeup remover. They do say it's waterproof, so that would explain why I'm having trouble now that it's a bit dry. The color I am testing it today is this one. This is the color ZZ or ZZ. And it's a gorgeous purple color. I mentioned recently whenever I was re-watching my April favorite of 2015 that I used to love wearing purple lipstick and I feel like I haven't done that in a while so whenever I saw this color I just decided to get it. I have it and love it in their uh, normal lipstick range. It just seemed really appealing to me so let's test that one out. And this is what ZZ looks like, and it seems to be drying also fairly quickly, but I'm gonna give it a few minutes before we test if it's uh, transfer proof. And then I'm gonna be wearing all day and see if it's waterproof, food resistant, and all that jazz. I waited a few minutes to let it dry. I feel like it's still a bit tacky whenever I press my lips together. I don't know if it's something that's gonna get better or not uh, as the day go on, but right now, actually, let me zoom you in. Let's take a second to just acknowledge how pretty this color is because I love it. <laughs> but as I was mentioning, whenever I press my lips together, like it's still tacky right now. I'll update you on that later on, but we're still gonna do the uh, transfer test. There's just a tiny, tiny bit from the inside of my lips, so I don't know if it's me. We're gonna try it again. There's nothing, let's try. Yeah, it's just a tiny bit on the inside. I don't know if it's uh, me that had like dead skin or something, but I'll update you once again on that a little bit later. But right now it's feeling great on my lips. I feel like it went very thinly on my lips, but it was still very, very uh, even, which 
sometimes, especially bolder shades can be hit and miss, but this one is a great color, that's for sure. I really love it, but I do feel like since I've been pressing my lips together, uh, maybe there's a little bit less color on top. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I love that color. Oh my God, I'm so happy I picked that one up. Yeah, at least one of them was a big hit. So, so far so good, it's still comfortable. I'm gonna go on with my day and I will update you a little bit later to let you know, show you how it looks like, but so far so good, I like it. The color, the comfort, the evenness, the formula, the applicator, everything is good so far. I'm sorry, I just closed a few lights, but I wanted to show you something. There's literally no natural lighting, it's been raining, but I'm trying to remove it with just a baby wipe and you can remove some of it, but not all of it. So it just goes to show they do say they're waterproof. I would say, yeah, they do seems to be uh, like lasting well. You need like a proper makeup remover to remove it, which is always good. So I've been wearing the lipstick for five hours now and I wanted to update you. Before eating, the lipstick was looking just fine. Like there was literally no changes. And I had quite a big meal and even there was a salad on the side that had that like oily uh, dressing. That's the word I was looking for. And it stayed so decently, like I was not expecting anything left because that thing was oily and there was no transfer on my glass of water at all. And let me show you my lips. So if I close my lips together, there's literally nothing. But if I like really smile, you can see just on the like inside of the lips, uh, there is some lipstick that is gone. But again, oiliness is like the killer of any uh, liquid lipstick or any makeup in general. But it's still decently on my lips. It's still very, very comfortable. And again, there's still no transfer. Like there's absolutely nothing. I can't really say anything negative about the lipstick because any makeup product will be removed by oil. And it's still looking very, very nice on the lips, even if it's a little bit gone. There's still no transfer. Usually at this point, lips, quid lipstick will have a little bit of transfer on the outside, for example. Still perfectly on my lips. It's very comfortable. It's not feeling or looking uh, dry it's still doing great uh i'm gonna keep wearing it but so far so good i wanted to update you one last time i've been wearing the lipstick for nine hours now so i think if it's still there it's gonna be there forever so i'm gonna zoom you in so as you can see this is what it looks like it looks exactly the same it did and i had a little bit of a snack i had some more water it's starting to feel a little bit drying but again Anything on my lips for nine hours will feel drying. I'm gonna do the test, transfer test. There's absolutely nothing. So this is getting a huge thumbs up from me. I'm pleasantly surprised and I love that color, it's so good. I feel like I haven't heard anyone mention these lipsticks. Like I had no idea that they were this good. So I will definitely, like I said, exchange trivial for backstage, but I might need to just get some more because they're really good. I'm gonna have to go and check the rest of the colors and just pick some more because yeah, if you were looking at them, I'm saying go ahead. They have my seal of approval. <laughs> they're really, really great. The color is so great and it's staying on my lips and yeah. <laughs> so that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video actually. Let me try to move it on camera because why not? So this is a makeup remover wipe, which I don't think it's gonna remove much, but just for the sake of it, because I always forget to do it on camera. Eh. I mean, I wouldn't attempt to remove it like that. You can remove bits of it, but you're gonna need some makeup remover, so. So this is really it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have tried any of these, if you've been looking at them, if you have tried and loved them, which colors specifically do you think I need in my life? Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.